Day 23. Here you are in Wild Sexy Magical Women. I'm Stephanie Matthews and day 23 of the 33 days of manifesting the magical life. I am queen. Queen! I decided to kind of throw everybody for a loop today. And if you can see me, this is the lake that's in my little community where I live right behind me. Um, and as we are going through this, 33 days. Hey, Michaela! Um, as we're going through this 33 days together, there have been some incredible shifts and incredible um, understanding of what is happening through what we say. And so um, as we allow our words to speak into existence what we desire. This is really what we're, we're underlining and we're, we're really coming to understand. So the I am statement of I am queen, I knew was sure to going to bring up a little bit of resistance in a lot of the women in here. When I went to even having sexy in the title, a lot of women left the group and even more women were really uncomfortable with that. And I bring up that power that we have through our sexuality, and it is almost equal to the resistance that we have being the queen or the ruler of our homes. But really, that is what we are. I don't care if you're single or married or have children or you're retired and it's just you, it doesn't matter. You are the queen of your own like personal space. And this is important to understand because if we truly thought of ourselves as royalty, we would act differently. I promise you that. We would think differently. We would allow for more people to help support us. We would invest in ourselves differently. We would adorn ourselves differently. Even I was going to put my hair in my little queen thing and I just ran out of the house. But I wanted to share with you what my day looked like today because I think that's important. Today I ran around and sold elderberry syrup and hi Katie and I ran around and did our recycling and as I'm doing the recycling, like putting the recycling into the different bins, I thought how is this very queenly? This doesn't feel like such, am I the queen doing recycling? And I think it's important that we look at the way we hold ourselves and the thoughts that are coming into our minds at every moment. And as I was separating that recycling today, I went, yes, I am manifesting abundance for my family through recycling. I am adorning myself with something that I actually support, helping the environment and, you know, getting money in return and for that gesture of allowing ourselves that even in the mundane aspects of doing the dishes and the laundry and wiping poopy butts and you know just doing the things that we have to do it is vital to um it is vital to allowing ourselves the ability to hold ourselves with royalty and dignity um, thank you, Katie. Beautiful backdrop, right? I know. Perfect. And so going into another aspect of being a queen, often we think of a queen as somebody who is demanding, who's a royal bitch, who just, you know, says what she says and doesn't care about anybody. But you know what? That doesn't make a happy kingdom, does it? So, of course, we desire happiness and peace in our kingdom. So, of course, we are going to do actions and hold ourselves and our, our, you know, loyal fans around us, our kids and our family and our friends. We're going to hold them up. And as a queen's mindset, we are going to empower ourselves enough to be that to be powerful, to say what we desire. Do you really think a queen has any problem at all saying what she wants or want, does not want at any time? No, and therefore, 
everybody around her who is there to serve her is unable to give what she desires if she does not speak up. So as a queen in your own home, what are you not saying that you actually need? What are you holding back in your own life because you're unwilling to share that insight with everyone around you? Hey, Sue. Um, so as we're really playing and toying with this queendom idea of I am queen, allow yourself to really open up to the possibility of what is and what you're not allowing in your life to be now because you don't feel deserving. What if you did? What if you did feel deserving? What would you invest in to further empower yourself? And um, I'm very excited and I'm, and I'm gonna throw this idea out there and I'll put it in more detail in a blog post, but I've been speaking with so many women who are unable to invest in working with me one-on-one. -on -one. So I had an idea of gathering 10 women. So if there is some, if, if you are interested in working with me and you're like, I just, I'm not able to do the one-on-one -on -one work yet. I am opening up for this holiday season to start the new year 2018 with 10 women who will be getting the full blown amazing like one on one attention but in a group of 10 I will personally go through you will get the action plan you will get all of the amazing things hello Jennifer that you would get one on one but in a group of 10 so um, and then the cost would be split between 10 women so if this is something that you're like I would love to work with you and I just don't see how that's financially possible holidays blah 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 I can't invest in myself that much because I don't quite believe that I'm queen yet then allow yourself maybe this gift for the holidays and to bring in the new year I do not want to start another year seeing the same women in this group who I've been seeing for years now say, I really want to change and I really want to shift and then not take a step forward and actually do that. So I wanted to raise your hand, let me know that you want to be one of those 10 women and I'll start making a group and if we get to 10, I will start this group in the new year. So. Let me know if that's something that you're thinking about and I'm really excited about this because I don't want finances. I've said this again, if you have the finances and you're not investing in yourself and you're still repeating the cycles, don't do it anymore. Start the new year fresh. If you're ready to step up and you're ready to say, I am queen, I allow myself to be the queen, to be powerful and caring and serving. I know so many of you have this desire to serve and that is the queen. Yes, I went in with you on this. Yay, Katie, I'm so excited. So we've got one, so we have nine spots left. So ladies, I have a feeling this will fill up quickly. There's nine spots and that's, there's 10, 10 women. And Cause I want to give, I want to pour myself into this and into each one of you as if it is one client. Like I would just pour everything into this. So this is gonna be a really special, if you've done programs, this is gonna be all new material, all new sessions, all new, way more. And think of it almost as, I call it the very important magical mama, the Vim experience, where this is really you realizing how valuable and important you are and creating that life around it. So by the end of the three months, this is what I guarantee. You will have more time, and I'm saying hours. You will have more hours every single day to do more, to be more, to implement more, to get your dreams out there. You will have more energy, I promise, and you will be inspired and like take action. That's how much energy you will have. And third, at the end of the three months, um, you will guaranteed know exactly a way, an action plan to monetize on your gifts and talents in order to serve those around you. And this is really where I am queen comes into being. And I feel like it took me a long time for my worthiness and I, I'm worthy, I'm enough, and we're all getting there, right? We're, we're worthy, we're enough. And now it's time to start serving our kingdom. 
which are those that resonate with our gifts and talents and who we came to this world to serve. Whether it's putting on community festivals or whether it's creating apothecary wonders in your kitchen or whether it's serving those that you have a heart for. This is what needs to happen. So um, excuse the, the fire trucks going crazy. Um, I don't know where the speaker is. I'll try to block it. Sorry. Okay, I was hiding you. <laughs> Thank you. As he turns it off right when he passes by. Um, I'm getting chills over. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is really, really exciting. And I was saying that the queen really allows, really, like, the queen is not so much about adorning. Like, there's queens of tribes that know their value. And you know what? Everywhere that they go, the people step back for them to walk through because they are just emanating their power and their grace and their love and they just show it by who they are. So there are nine spaces left. We will be starting the new year as a new you. And this isn't one of those cliche things. If you've been doing the past 23 days of this, even if you've only done a couple, I can guarantee that you've gotten something out of it. Imagine going deeper. Imagine me able to like pour myself into you specifically, creating the plans that you need, creating the vision that you have, creating you as you desire and healing what is getting you stuck in the moment of now. So I cannot wait for this. I'm really hoping that I can get 10 of you because this is going to be life changing. And if you're like, yes, sign me up, I'm ready, let me know, comment or PM me. And if you go, yes, I'm ready, and you want to just have me pour all of myself into just you and um, just be a client one-on-one, -on -one, there's that way as well. So I wanted to open this up for women who go, yes, I'm ready to work with you, but I just can't afford to pay for it all by myself. So know that you, all of the women, you in this group, are so valuable and I don't want to leave anybody behind because that's not an integrity for me. I am, al I am allowing myself to receive whoever is ready to do this work. So if you are ready to dive deep, if you're ready to heal, if you're ready to stop putting up the blocks that are keeping you from being happy, releasing the anxiety and the depression releasing being not good enough, releasing feeling the shame and the guilt, releasing not being able to have a pleasurable sex life. If you are ready to really release all of these things and more and gain even more than what is imaginable, I would love for you to come and join me. And one other aspect of this is I get a lot of women who say, yeah, but Stephanie, you're so different. And that's not true. I was there. I was lost. I was confused. I went to bed depleted every night going, what am I doing here? All I wanted to do was have babies. All I wanted to do was, was be a mom. And I can't even do that well because my, my, there's something missing. And when I found that missing piece, which I can help every single one of you find, because it's what I can do through healing and through guidance. I know that you could do exactly what I'm doing. Lead the tribe that you were meant to be here to lead. You could have the women that are looking up to you. You can have the women or the men or the community that goes, wow, do you know that girl? She's awesome. That's who you are. And so often we think that just because we see somebody doing a Facebook Live that that could never be us. And that's not true. Because I am no different than you. If I was able to go through this journey, I know for a fact that you can too. Because guess what? You are queen just as much as I am queen. So 
I'm very much looking forward to who these other nine women are going to be. And I will keep the groups, if more than 10 women sign up, I will keep the groups to uh, groups of 10. There will not be more than 10 women so that I can really pour myself into each and every one of you. So know that if more women sign up and the groups get like bigger than 10, it will stay at 10 so that each person every call and every session and every group that we that we have every woman will get time and coaching and healing and personalized attention and the yummy juicy life that you truly desire and that is what i truly want for all of you to be wild sexy magical women changing the world one step at a time through you, through your gifts, talents, and amazingness. So I cannot wait for this to start. I cannot wait for this new year. And I know that it is going to be magical. So looking forward to seeing you and seeing who is going to jump on board with this. But um, yay, I cannot wait. Let me know what you feel about I Am Queen and what healing needs to be done around that. And let's start doing that. Let's get in this. Let's start transforming our lives to be the queens that we know we are, and we will start 2018 on that foot, not dragging into 2018 what we have been trying to heal for years now. All right, peace and blessings. Enjoy the rest of your magical day, and I will see you all tomorrow.